Yeah, came to some kind of local market. There's more like Thai people here. Yeah, I'm kind of upset, you know. Everything's way more expensive than can't cost me. Huh. Kinda sucks. It's, it's, some places in Thailand like are not worth spending too much long time. Yeah, so just close by, there's some kind of cool temple. Oh, more steps. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> to be honest, the view is even better than the 1,206 steps that I showed you before. Like the tiger, tiger cave or something. It's even less steps. <clears throat> Man, so I checked checked flights. So from Krabi, you can get a flight to Kuala Lumpur for 26 euro. So back and forth, it's about 50, 60 euro. You know, if you need to do that visa stuff, it's not not a bad bad option. Just thinking when to go. There's either 6th, 7th, it's more expensive. If you want better times, I need to think about it. I don't want to rush things. I don't have a lot of time either. That looks cool. Super empty. No people. Oh, there's a dude. Uh, some kind of chick. Yeah, but oh, man, it's raining like crazy. I found this spot. I don't know how it's called, but yeah, it's not that expensive. I'm sure they have pizza. <laughs> Yeah, so it's raining and it's probably going to rain like often now. Uh, I heard this tourist dude told me like uh, there comes like storms, clouds and they usually like go further after four days. So it's like four days, rain, stop, rain, stop, rain, stop. And then the cloud like goes further and you know. And it stops completely. So I don't know how good can you see me, it's pretty dark, but yeah. Just took a walk from here, like, I don't know, there's JR pump to the beach. So yeah, it's, wow, it's super touristic, you know? Like, too much, too much. I'm kind of disappointed, but, you know, I don't know. Okay, so I just came back to my hotel room. Uh, yeah, so today is October 3rd. I'm not doing a lot of videos because there's not much to, to film. Like, I was not doing a lot, you know, just like resting. You saw that temple today. Yeah, I was looking for durian, so uh, I made like a lot of a lot of scooter rides to like uh, a local fisher village but I didn't film it but it was super local like very local you know like Thai living by the sea so it was it was quite cool then it started raining yeah I think rain is gonna gonna come soon so yeah so so far what can I say like about Onang Awonang it's like it has like a lot of limestone around it has a cool beach yeah, but this area, this whole Aonang the area, I could say it's like very touristic. It's with maybe for vacation, you know, better. I don't know. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not considering like I'm on a vacation to be honest. Uh, 
I'm like more, I want to like more explore, you know, like something more adventurous, you know, not like sit by the beach and drink cocktails and stuff like that, you know. So basically why I'm staying here longer, it's for the Muay Thai. I did only one session, so that's going to be like eight in total. So yeah, that's for my checklist to don't forget. And then, yeah. I don't know, I'm probably gonna be heading to Malaysia because of that visa stuff. Yeah, but I don't think like more than two days. Yeah, and then, yeah. There's a lot of things to do, but also not much to do, you know? Like everything's pretty much starting to be the same, so. So yeah, uh, what else can I? tell you about about Onag yeah there's a lot of Koreans yeah they love durian so I've seen a lot of Korean here but they're very well mannered like very you know very clean very you know they look educated they're they don't do stupid stuff you know they're they're driving also like very careful there's also a lot of uh, Indians uh, also, I heard like a lot of Malaysians come here because Malaysia is very close and it, here like Krabi and also like Onang, it's like some kind of Malay tribe was here, I don't know, but there's a lot of Malay people, so a lot of Muslims, yeah, there's like uh, Mechets, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah what else what else what else so there is this riley beach that i said about it my other vlog so it should be cool but i'm kind of lazy to go there and today the weather kind of sucked i don't really care about the beaches like just to see it i don't know it's like just on the checklist just to do it so i don't need to come back here you know so yeah so basically i'm staying at this b2 like i said so it's very cool it's further from the town you know it's in the forest more like in the jungle near this huge limestone so when you go out there's this main road so uh, one side you you go to like crabby town like you can go to crabby town it's like not, nothing to do there just the ride the ride is beautiful like the crabby town where it's like so much slime so i'm gonna film it maybe tomorrow or the next day but yeah so it's very very nice but in crabby town there's like i don't know there's it doesn't look like much you know it's like local places a lot of local but it's still cool you know to go to eat local food it's not tourist that touristic so that's also cool i like it and and uh, and the other side, like this, this, like I said, one side is Krabby Town and the other side goes to the beach, to the Ainong Beach. Yeah, so, and there's like a lot of, a lot of, you know, like shops, uh, a lot of <laughs> Thai pancakes, a lot of, a lot of fruit, a lot of tourist boots, you know, buy tickets, buy tickets, a lot of massages. You know, just the regular like touristic stuff, like clubs, bars. Uh, yeah, I saw like the bar girls. You know, there was this area like I don't know. There, I just went, you know, to take a look. Oh man, there were like maybe fifty girls, and they were like looking at my place. <laughs> yeah, it was like so funny. Yeah, maybe I need to go check it out. Yeah, but yeah, I'll see. So you go straight to the beach, there's like a lot of souvenirs, you know, a lot of food and you know, I, I don't like this this too much, you know, it's like everybody's come here, come here, like, uh, I don't know, it's like, it's not, it's not adventurous at all, it's like, <laughs> it's like come to, you know, do nothing, so it's boring. So yeah, so if I'm staying here, so I'm basically staying for the Muay Thai, but I don't know, it's gonna be long or no, I don't know, yeah, probably gonna go to, for sure gonna go to Malaysia, and then after, maybe come back, but I don't wanna come back to Krabi, it's like, no, 
no use here so I just need to stay here stay get everything as much as possible and then just go to Malaysia and then go back I don't know to Bangkok or Chiang Mai and then from them I see maybe I want to go back to Koh Samui it was quite cool to be honest yeah I was in I was in Chiang Mai for a one Bangkok for a month, uh, Kopipi seven days Phuket, now Krabi Koh Samui Koh Tao. I think the best places that I liked were Koh Samui the first and then Chiang Mai I suppose yeah yeah these two two places were the best. Actually, it's called, Chiang Mai wasn't that cool, I don't know. It's like also very, 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 very touristic. Just that I spent there like one month because I had an injury. So, I don't know, like, but yeah, Khao Samui, first place for sure. Yeah. And yeah, and also, I, I told you like, I was like crying about the prices, but yeah, the prices here suck, like very bad. Like if you go near the beach, like Durin, for example, yeah, one kilo three hundred baht, nice, one kilo three hundred baht in Koh Samui, one kilo. The cheapest that I found was fifty baht. On Facebook, they were selling it for fifty nine baht. Like Thai people selling it on Facebook, you know. Uh, uh, other places like by the street, there were like the cheapest. Yeah, the cheapest 50, but they didn't have it like every time, but uh, a lot of places had for 80 baht. So 80 baht, very popular also, 80. And the better was 130, but here is like 200 almost, you know? It's like, I'm paying double. So that kind of, I don't know. And it's just, just not that, you know? Like, and the scooter is more expensive. Uh, just the hotel is like way cheaper. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know. It's like good quality and it's like five euro cheaper. Yeah, so that's cool. You know, f four maybe four. A little bit money saved. Yeah, like the food, like ch chicken rice is like you can get it for sixty baht. Chicken like with shrimps, seafood, eighty baht. You know. Like uh, Brazil, that lot you can get it also for 60 baht in some places. Yeah, so. Hmm. Yeah, but, but there are other things, you know, the, 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 the excursions and everything, the tours. Yeah, also that Emerald Gym is quite expensive. Yeah, crowded. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm I'm like speaking here for maybe five minutes, maybe more. Yeah. Probably nobody's gonna watch this full so <laughs> it's for me. I'm gonna look at this ten years after. Look at my face. How do I look? Still young? Man, that should look like similar. After 10 years, I don't smoke, I don't drink, <laughs> should be okay. Yeah, so, I don't know, if I, if I think about something, I'll let you, let myself know. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Oh, by the way, I have this cool ass helmet, like it's big, it doesn't even fit in my scooter it has like this big spider on it and I'm like carrying it like it's so cool yeah but it's kind of shitty also it's maybe 50 euros the max just looks cool you know well better than this than like the others that they have like even the cyclist couldn't wear that yeah Yeah, so I, I remember one thing today. So when I was like in that fisherman village, so these goats ran across the street and I was like driving pretty fast. So, 
but that was a close one and also today it was drying pretty fast and there was like these potholes you know and I went like on the left side on these potholes and this lady was like driving her on 30 on 40 like super slow you know I, I think I touched her scooter like a little bit like one millimeter or maybe not there was like no bump no nothing but was super close she didn't she just you know flinched but there was no like you know impact yes yeah, so <laughs> um, yeah also went to the gym today yeah my this hotel has the small gym but it's enough actually yeah so yeah